During the International Youth Exchange, vote use your power. Financed by Erasmus Plus. Talented young people from Poland, Romania, Serbia, North Macedonia and Lithuania showed creativity and passion. All activities were carried out in the spirit of non-formal education. The main goal of the project Vote Use Your Power is to raise awareness in, uh, between the participants about the democracy and how much the voting and taking part in elections actually is important. Uh, so uh, we started with uh, exchanging the meritorical knowledge about how the parliamentary system are working uh, in the partners uh, countries. So participants divided into national teams uh, were exchanging. Later on, after this theoretical part, they had the chance to actually build their own parties and uh, the parliament. Uh, so they could debate and make a lot of discussions in order to build the best solutions for their country. So it was the simulation uh, game Mm, which was quite intensive and uh, a lot of voices from different sides and extreme, uh, extreme points of view were exchanged. All of the workshops and uh, activities uh, provided uh, during the Youth Exchange Vote Use Your Power were designed and then built uh, in the spirit of non-formal education, so learning by doing. Okay, Dushan, so tell me, what gave you the experience of integration with other cultures during this project? 
Okay, well, there were plenty of situations where I could feel uh, integrity with other uh, people from other countries. Uh, for example, when we shared that during each day, different countries share their uh, uh, represent representations of their parliament system, and we could see from the very beginning that uh, it always, it all, all of those parliament systems are working in a similar way. But the implementation of the of those systems uh, works differently. Also, during the <laughs> during the international nights, we saw that um, many countries perceive Ivar as their <laughs> national uh, food, and uh, yeah. And when we uh, had that legislative theater workshop, uh, although we, uh, the uh, let's say. Uh, the participants of each play were from different country uh, we all found found uh, this common issue for each country so basically those all situations uh, made me realize that although we there are many differences there are also many similarities between all of us and the second question is uh, how will you use the knowledge gained during this project after coming back home the knowledge that I gained here, obviously really important to use, your vote is a power, really, really important. And realistically, I think I will use it in my university, in my student representative, to represent students and to spread the message uh, across our whole, whole, in, uh, our whole um, education institution. According to your experience during this project, what is the main learning point of the project Vote Use Your Power? Mm, the main goal? It's about voting, yeah, it's about getting, getting to know how it, how it works. We, we get to know a lot of uh, other parliaments, how it's works in their countries, in Serbia, Romania, Lithuania, Poland, uh, hmm, what else? That's and Macedonia, yeah, and Macedonia, of course. The main learning point, yeah, it was about voting, about uh, parliament, and about how important it is. Do you feel more motivated to take part in elections after this project, and why? Yeah, so um, I'm I'm still underage, so I can go to elections, but uh, for sure I'm I'm very motivated, and I've learned that uh, yeah the 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 change starts from me, and uh, I'm I I'll go and vote for sure. If you would like to share anything with the people who are watching this video, according to the project, the topic, the Erasmus Plus, anything, what would you share? Um, I would uh, tell them that uh, it's a great experience to be here. It's uh, everything is perfect. I can say. Um, I was. Uh, I I felt integrated. <laughs> I hope that seemed uh, natural enough. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs>
yeah, for those proposals actually, and to decide if they want them um, to be implemented uh, in their societies or not. The most important part of the uh, legislative theater is to put this theory into practice. So all of those proposals uh, of the solutions uh, are actually in the process of implementing it into the real life. So people are going to the uh, to the government, maybe to the local government, uh, to the school uh, principal, and so on, and they are trying to implement it in like in real life. So this is the theater mm, of the oppressed part and the theater uh, methodology, which actually is changing something in real life. Thank you very much. The project.